We're going to look at how we can calculate the maximum drawdown in our portfolio ourselves in Excel. But before we do that, let's just talk quickly about what max drawdown is. So this is the greatest movement from high point to low point in a portfolio. We can measure it with this formula that max drawdown is equal to the trough value minus the peak value. So basically the difference from the lowest point to the highest point divided by the highest point down here. And so if we talk about what is the lowest point and what is the highest point, we can look at this graph and assume that we have a portfolio that starts off with a hundred dollars of value. And then over time, as time passes, the value of our portfolio changes and rises and falls. So we'll see that as time passes, we reach this highest value of our portfolio right here. This is our peak value. And then it falls, rises again and falls. And then our lowest value would be our trough value. This is the lowest it ever fell after this peak was achieved. Now, there's two different ways you could basically measure maximum drawdown. One is you could go and say, hey, maybe this is the trough, and then this is the new peak, and the drawdown would be from this point to this point, and then you'd have a separate drawdown from this point to this point. This is a more difficult way to calculate it. What we're going to do in this video is basically just go from the highest peak down to the lowest low, which is a more simple way that we can calculate it. So let's use an example where we have a portfolio that starts off with $100 like we said in year one, then in year two, the value rises to $108.75, and then for the next 30 years, it moves like as you see on this graph. So we want to create a formula that's basically going to find our peak value, which we see here, and our subsequent uh, trough value or lowest value, which we see here, and find how much as a percentage did we lose from here to here. So we can do this by starting in year two by taking the current, use, the current year's value in C4 and subtracting the maximum of the year before it as a range. So we're going to need to lock in this first part here because as we move down, we want this array formula to move down with us. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we're going to put a dollar sign before and after that first C, and then we're going to close this off. So that is the numerator of our formula. So this should tell us basically what is the current year's value minus the max of all the previous years. And then now we just need to divide by the maximum of all of the previous years. So let's do that. And then I'm going to shoot this formula all the way down by double clicking here. And now we'll see that we have all these drawdown percentages. But which one is the maximum of all of them? Well, for that, we can do equal to min because we actually want to find the most negative one. Then we'll grab this whole array by doing control shift down arrow and highlighting the whole thing, closing it and hitting enter. So we see that the largest fall from peak to trough was 76.7%. So we can see that that happened right here. So basically, after this peak happened of 303 right here, the lowest value our portfolio ever went to since then was the $70.72. Now, if you don't want to do these calculations yourself because they're quite complicated, or you maybe want a more sophisticated method that can find um, different points in the movements, like from here to here, for example, and then from there to there, you could use a brokerage tool that has that functionality already built in. And I'll give you an example really quick of interactive brokers where I had a trade that started at $1,000, then it fell right here to $997.67, and then it rose back up to $1,003. And now the software just automatically finds that my max drawdown was basically 0.23%, which is the fall from that 1,000 before to the 997.67. So if you'd like to take a look at this uh, software, I'll put a link in the pinned comment and the description. 
If you'd like the Excel file that I created for free, please check the download link in the pinned comment in the description.